All right, guys, so today I'm gonna show you two of my favorite meals to do with the Pro HD. Um, I hate drinking my protein, so obviously with prep, you can like get uh, creative. Uh, so I've posted both on my Instagram, a lot of people uh, of you guys have been asking, so I'm gonna do an actual video to explain a bit easier um, how do I do it. So those are my protein ice cream sandwich uh, that I would call. So. Um, portion of everything is kind of like different for everyone so for me it's what I have in my meal plan and obviously you can add to some things if you want more calories or less uh, but I'm starting with just a scoop and a half of protein you can do a scoop if you only have a scoop in your in your plan you can do two um, so I do a scoop and a half for this one I love the chocolate peanut butter this is my favorite one to do the protein ice cream um, so I'll just put it in a little bowl. I will add a little bit of salt in, in it. So this is the real salt. Um, and I'll put a bit of cinnamon. Again, it's taste-wise. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to put it. You can add stevia. You can add any other thing. I love uh, cinnamon. So first, I'm going to mix it with a bit of water. So, so here, what I have to do is put a bit of like cold water instead of like warm. Um, and this is a tricky part. So you have to put a, like a small amount of water. So start with less and then stir, stir it. And then if you need to add more, then add more, but stir it like a lot at first, just to make sure that it's thick. Uh, if you put too much water, it's gonna get into an actual just shake or like a, a soup, which you don't want. So you'll see like at first it's kind of like like chunky like so I'll have to add more water so you kind of have to like go like add a bit of water at a time so it's getting better you'll see like I make sure to like remix it because sometimes there's still water in there and I'll add a little bit more and then again it's like consistency that you like right so it's like you want to make sure it's thick enough to like stay on the rice cake so that's kind of like the consistency I like so I, I'll, I'll be sure that like so in my meal, I have five rice cake on a training day and four in a rest day. So today I am resting, so I'm gonna do four of them. You can use any rice cake you want. Again, I love, those ones are my favorite, cheddar. Uh, they're a little bit higher in fat, but they have one, they have one gram of fat per, for one rice cake. Uh, if you're in prep and you want the, the plain one or the popcorn or the lowest calories and if you don't care or you want like higher calories you can even have the chocolate one I'll put half on one and just spread it on it and I usually make it in the morning um, this meal for me is my post-workout meal you can have it any time of the day obviously depending on your meal plan um, but I have it post-workout so I usually like prep before I go to the gym um, and then I just put in the freezer for the rest of like until I train uh, so it can be in the freezer for a couple of hours um, and when I prep it and prep it in the morning so last step is organic peanut butter almond butter whatever it is um, I do have peanut butter in my post workout meal but uh, let's say you have bananas or like fruit you could you could even like put it on there I've, I've done it with banana before it was really good as well um, but with peanut butter, also like the peanut butter gets hard in the freezer, so it's actually really good. So I have 15 grams, so I'll put half and half again. And then before closing it, I'll put a little bit of like big salt. Um, so it's like bigger chunk of salt, so it actually tastes. And then just put the top back on. And I'll do that with the second one as well. And best way to measure your actual like peanut butter, so I have 15 grams, is put the tub of peanut butter on it. So it's gonna be like minus, so I'll go to like minus 15, and then the rest I'll just, so I make sure, close it, put it in the freezer, and this is done. I feel like I've never really tried to do it right away before my workout, so um, I feel like even just an hour in the freezer should be fine. And then I usually put it in the freezer before I train, I train and then before I eat, I'll take it out for like five, five, ten-ish minutes just to let it melt a bit so you don't break your teeth. Uh, and then you enjoy that. There you go. So a really, really simple uh, recipe you can make really quick for 
uh, enjoying your protein in prep or even off season can make a sweet treat. I'll show you guys. So that's the first one. I will show you the second one in a second. Okay, so this is the second one. This is the protein ice cream uh, with the Ninja. Uh, if everyone's asking if this machine is worth it, 100,000% worth it. Um, it's been a lifesaver and thanks to Jen Dory who actually got everyone hooked on it. Um, she does have a video on it um, and she is the one who came up with those two as well. Uh, but a lot of people are asking, oh, I make it and like kind of trying to find the perfect consistency recipe. Uh, obviously this one's more like, I mean, it's still pretty like prep friendly depending on like if you can play with your macros. I know myself in prep, I would put water in it. Uh, which would work as well uh, but off season right now if I want the perfect consistency uh, this is how I make it right now so for the protein ice cream uh, maple waffle is my favorite flavor and I'm such a like chocolate person but this one is just like the sweetest um, and I just add little things in it uh, that can make, if you want a bit of like chocolate in it again when you make it um, if you want to do like add on like either like peanut butter for me my, it's my last meal and I have a, like a sourdough for carbs and peanut butter for, uh, for fat so I could put it in there but I do like a ice cream sandwich so I would rather have it on the side but I could put the peanut butter in it or I could add like a bit of like stuff to make it like crunchy or if you want to make it your cheat meal a bit more like healthier it's actually like tastes as real ice cream so I would just put like there were like Oreos in it or whatever you want. But for macros friendly, um, I do put almond butter because it makes it uh, creamier than water. Um, so I'll put, I'll take out the pin, which is oh, just there. So first, um, I go like by just eyeball. So I'll put like three quarters. So you can fill it up more than here. So I'll just like fill three quarter of that to leave space for the protein so protein for me it has a scoop and a half uh, you can do a scoop you can do two just put a little bit less milk if um, you do two scoops so I'll do a scoop and a half I've been like trying many flavors too though I've been doing like a scoop of like maple waffle and then half a scoop of peanut butter or like I try with the vanilla but this is the one that I like the best so far um, so this just put in the mixer so I have the ninja mixer here can be any mixer just like I can like eyeballs everything so like I'll do like half uh, like a quarter half of a teaspoon uh, so those are the pudding um, pudding sugar free 7.5 gram which is like like that's such a low amount so it's not even but it's 25 calories and six gram of carbs. So like in the amount that I put, there's barely like nothing. And I've ordered those in big pack. Uh, this is a pistachio. I've ordered it out of uh, Amazon uh, because we don't have it here. So I'll do like the same amount of this one or a bit more. I actually been loving the pistachio in it. And then the secret ingredient, thanks to Dorian, this one. I actually just learned how to say that. Two minutes ago so exen oh my god exen tom gum Laura's helping me here um so this is an ingredient that make it uh thicker they put it in a lot of um things so again eyeballs will do like you don't want it like you don't want to put too too much um so i'll put like again like half, not even half like a quarter blend it all together so just to say that you're like mixing it all together and then you'll see the consistency is a little bit thicker already. And then just put it back in your ice cream tub. So the only thing with this is you need to prep it. I've actually like tried it both. Uh, either you prep it the day before, so 24 hours in advance, you put it in the freezer. So, so I put this one out yesterday um, for today. So it's been sitting there. So just a couple more minutes so I can show you guys how to do it there. This one's gonna be for tomorrow. So 24 and a half events to prep that. Just put it in the freezer, ready for tomorrow. I've been do I've done it once in the morning for the nighttime. Um, it works as well. I just love to do it the day before, just in case. But in that case, you can maybe just take it out a bit less time before maybe just 10 minutes. So this one goes in the freezer. Uh, I've been buying like multiple tubs just to make sure I have 
some have another one here ready i've been trying multiple flavor <laughs> another one here so i have a couple tub in there so i'll let this sit for a couple more minutes and i'll show you guys how i blend it in this little baby okay so this is ready it's been out for about 20 minutes now so it comes in a tub so you just put take the lids off just put this in there and then just lock the top and then you just hold on here and just lock it the first thing i'm going to do is the ice cream um, this is a little bit of a nauseous noise <laughs> but all you have to do is ice cream and wait for it usually i just like you can like just reset it i would just like reset and respin but just to show you guys kind of um if you do it like just one time it's like kind of like still powdery uh smoother and sometimes if you do want to like i've done it like once if you want to add after the respin like a, a bit of almond milk you can as well um but i usually do two respin and it's actually usually like perfect consistency so just put it back there and just the respin here okay and then one more time Should be good by now. Um, I've I've done a, like a fourth wrist pin sometime, but I feel like it's gonna be pretty dead on. So what I do sometime, uh, if it doesn't like mix all the way, I'll just like uh, mix it with a knife, uh, just to mix the little like icy part that's still on there, and I'll just like remix it. But this is literally the consistency it's giving you. This is insane. And then like I said, if you want to put like some anything peanut butter it actually makes it like kind of like a cheat meal but like really cheat meal uh, but it's literally having ice cream every single day so i have it's not my meal right now i cannot eat yet my second meal is not ice cream i'll have it for tonight so Laura is here she's gonna try actually for the first time and give her actual real review so i, I think that this one i've put a bit of like everything <laughs> I think a bit, a bit of maple waffle and some like cocoa, um, maybe a bit of peanut butter. I can't remember actually. I know, eh? And yeah, the xenotum makes it, yeah, that so much thicker. Crazy, eh? It's so good. I'm like, it's a like. It's a lot. It's a lot. As like real ice cream. Mm -hmm. And like you put, yeah, like let's say you put like, I don't know, like a real chunk or anything. So this is. My two uh, favorite, favorite recipe that I do almost every single day. So I love to just have like one, one portion of like protein a day um, and the rest get my food from like actual like, oh my God, real food. Some days I'll do this one at night and some day I'll do uh, this post-workout, but this one has been in the freezer for uh, the whole time that I've been doing that. So like maybe like 20-ish minutes and you can see it's already like actually perfect. I mean, it, it does need a little bit more in the freezer, but yeah, this is, those are my two top uh, recipe with the Pro HD. Uh, try it out, it's so worth it, it makes uh, dieting much more easier. So yeah, try it out. Hope you like it. Let me know, just tag me. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy.